Beth Cadoon, I'm Vice President for Tax and Fiscal Policy at the Minnesota Chamber of Commerce. 2017 is a budget year where the Governor and Legislature will need to agree on the budget for the next two fiscal years of 2018 and 2019. Good news is the Minnesota um, State General Fund does have a budget surplus of $1.4 billion that, that is projected. This is the third year in a row that we've now had a budget surplus since 2014, um, ever since the very large tax increase of $2 billion in 2013. What we continue to hear from our um, business community and our members is that Minnesota's high tax burdens are having a detrimental impact on their ability to invest and grow in the state of Minnesota. Um, we rank high on many um, indicators such as one of the best quality of lives in the nation, a very strong and talented workforce. However, we also rank very high on the cost of doing business with some of our tax rankings amongst the highest in the nation. Third highest for individual income tax, which is many of our pass-through companies. Third highest for corporate um, taxes. And second highest for some types of business property taxes among um, other rankings. Our 2017 session priorities are to focus on those tax burdens that are having a detrimental impact on innovation, investment, entrepreneurship. So we would like to see our fixed cost of doing business in the state be reduced by reducing that business property tax and remove the inflator that's currently on that tax. We'd also like to see our individual income tax, especially for those pass-through companies, be reduced from that third highest rate in the nation. Um, and also um, enhance our research and development tax credit. That's been a very strong um, indicator for Minnesota and on to continue to have that innovation occur here. Section 179, federal conformity for business expensing of small businesses and farmers, as well as let's get to the estate tax of federal conformity as well.